as we welcome you back to Heinz Field. That's the kind of day we have here in Pennsylvania. The fans with their towels waving are all decked out against the weather. Greg, the one thing about the weather forecast, this might be as good as it gets. It's supposed to get colder as the afternoon goes on. This rain is supposed to turn to snow. Pretty lucky. Mendenhall, fleet flipper. Roethlisberger can't elude everybody. Throws it out. It's complete to Mendenhall. Mendenhall first down across midfield. How many times have we seen this? There's not a tougher quarterback in football once you have a hold of him to get him to the ground. Ray Maluga back there, he's trying to get him. How does he see these people stay on his feet at the same time? I mean, this is just remarkable. <laughs> well, DeBoer, first down, and then some inside of the 45 to about the 42. That's complete to Kelly, and Kelly is going to be wrapped up at the 32-yard line, well short of a first down by James Ferrier and Lawrence Timmons. Wind still blowing, swirling around the stadium. As the Steelers get started with Charles Mendenhall off the right side, still on his feet across the 35 to about the 37-yard line as we hit the two-minute mark to play here in the first quarter once again. side of the field and it threw the hands of Terrell Owens. Oh, how Roy risky Polamalu was that? Was there. Oh, there was bracket coverage and Polamalu is underneath. And I'm sure when Carson made the decision to throw that ball, uh, he wasn't sure that Polamalu could get all the way back into it. And look at him. He came off the receiver he was on underneath. Watch this. See, he's originally inside on Shipley, and then he floats all the way back off to the outside. There aren't many guys in the league that can cover that much ground and change responsibilities on the fly. Second and ten. Scott wrapped up at the 33. Lamar Woodley coming in from the far side will be limited. But he, right, keep in mind, they're moving the ball without him. He's their third leading receiver. Play pick. Palmer. Under pressure and goes down to the 35, courtesy of Lamar Woodley. Well, we saw last time Woodley came off the edge, and Palmer was able to step up. Not so this time, as Lamar Woodley was able to get him to the ground. Here's Lamar Woodley right here, and watch him come up the edge. And again, he gets around Reggie Kelly, the tight end. And, he, and that time, Woodley anticipated Palmer stepping up and stayed with him and just barely got him down. Well, what a pair of outside linebackers for these Steelers. Woodley on the one side, Harrison on the other. Second and 17. Setting up the screen. And that one is stopped cold. Cedric Benson on the receiving end of the hit from Lawrence Timmons. Reverse, now third and 20. Here they come, pass over in the middle intended for Shipley, broken up. Ryan Clark, the safety. He's coming right at Carson, but Carson delivers a catchable ball. throws near side of the field and that is pulled in by Wallace and Wallace across the 25 to the 26 yard line and a first down. He's not playing today because of a handful. You can't get much to him. On first down, quick pass to the near side. High forward with blocking in front of him. And up to the 35 yard line. He'll come up about a yard shy of a first down. How long is it going to take the Steelers offensively to take advantage of, of this banged up defense? Uh, I, I give Cincinnati a lot of credit. They have played with a lot of emotion. The pass this side, and this one's complete to Antonio Brown. And Brown knocked out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. Antonio Brown. That not only did they not defend Heinz Field, but that the Bengals were dancing afterwards and celebrating their win. Uh, he tried to get his team lit up with that visual aid. Jermaine Gresham is in the lineup. Polamalu picks it off. 30, 20, 10. 
touchdown. A play. Undercuts the route. Palmer doesn't see him. He jumps in front of Owens. And then Palmer is going to be the guy that hits him on the sideline. And somehow, look at that athleticism by Troy Polamalu reaching the ball over the pylon for the touchdown. That is remarkable. Here they come. At the 32. William Gay again. We saw him blitz on the last series, and Dick LeBeau dials it up. Polamalu is uh, is in there, and again, they're showing blitz. He drops back in coverage, and William Gay comes in and unaccounted for. This is only the fourth Steeler drive of the day. Oh, offense, and Roethlisberger keeping it and diving across the 25 to the 27-yard line. Well, man, they're just going to run their old-fashioned power O. At his own 28. Quick pass, near side. That's complete to Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown up the sideline and knocked out of bounds. Robert Berger, Oh, another Steelers hurt, although Nada was fined for it later in the week. Goes down to the two-yard loss, second and 12, and Roethlisberger running out of time over the middle. Has his man complete. Hines Ward into it. Cincinnati territory in the 45. But that's another Steeler. and oh, what a catch at the 20-yard line made by Antoine Randall L. Six. Look at him elevate and snag it with his right hand and secure it and bring it down. How nice, how good is that? That was, that was special. Boy, there is highlight film material. High snap, Roethlisberger corrals it, puts it under his arm, to the 10, to the 5, and slides down to the first and goal. <laughs> Fall lightly here in Pittsburgh. Second and seven. Running out of time. And throws over the middle. And that's complete at the 45 yard line to Hines Ward. It's only a three man, a uh, four man rather. The other guy was so far out of the picture he didn't come in until the very end. What an outstanding job up front by the Steelers. And running out of time on the play clock. Just got the snap in time. Quick pass. And that's complete to Antonio Brown and Brown to the 30-yard line. It's a Pittsburgh first down. Well, Ben Roethlisberger, he waits so long, he gets Cincinnati commit to the blitz. He sees that they're going to come off the corner. They came off to his offensive left, and he gets Antonio Brown. A good move by the rookie to make the blitz adjustment, break off his pattern underneath. Roethlisberger changed to protection. It worked out well. Play pick. Eludes the rush. Throw it. Complete to the 10 yard line. Hines Ward pulling it in. It'll be first and goal. Oh, and he gets his right ankle caught underneath. McDonald gets him, and oh, look at him clutch at that right ankle. And that's his bad foot. That's the foot where he aggravated the old injury. Oh, this. This is looking like Y.A. Tittle. And that one is good as well. Two red zone trips for the offense. Two field goals. No touchdown. Pittsburgh extends its lead to 13-7. to seven. Here comes the Bengal. Quick slant. That's complete. Wallace and dragged down. At the 45, that'll be enough for a first down. Well, that time, Ben comes right back to Mike Wallace, the second-year guy who makes the proper blitz adjustment. Because of the, here comes the blitz off the corner and up the middle. And that was just a good read by the quarterback. See, look at Wallace. He just immediately just breaks off his pattern, comes across the middle. Yep. Last two games, four and a half on the year. Roethlisberger, deep drop, up the middle. Oh, what a catch of 
across midfield by Heinz Ward. And Roethlisberger was right on the money. Well, in the first half, we saw Antoine Randall L go up to make a sensational one-handed stick of a catch. Now it's going to be Heinz Ward just on the seam pattern, and he goes up with both hands. And wow, how close was Tom Nelson to getting a hand on that football? Watching it live, and especially about three or four yards earlier. Quick pass on the inside. This is Wallace, and Wallace breaks free. Inside the 30. First down. Made it happen. Randall L. Taking the snap and holding, and now pitching to Mike Wallace. And Wallace landing at the 18-yard line. To Mike Antoine Randall L., who played quarterback at Indiana, was a tremendous college quarterback, and a lot like, say, a guy like Brad Smith with the Jets. You know, and you look at the Steelers. Uh, at six games, they failed to score 20 points, and amazingly, they won four of them. Two of those were against really good teams, Atlanta and Baltimore. Carson Palmer to throw on first down. Intercepted by Woodley. And Woodley, touchdown. Wow. The second pick six of the day by Carson Palmer. Carson Palmer just does not even entertain the thought of Lamar Woodley undercutting Chad Ochoznico. And Woodley, mostly known as a pass, rusher, pass rushing force off the edge, showed that he's got some skills out in the open as well. Sweezer for the extra point. Carson Palmer now with 17 interceptions on the season. Troy Palomalu had one of them and cheers the other. But they've scored 20 unanswered points and lead it 20 to 7. Nick Bernard Scott goes back and picks it up at the 4 and is going to get buried at the 7. And not Jacksonville. Oh, you're right about that. You saw Troy Polamalu limping, but he's still out there in the secondary. And Palmer lost his footing and went down. And Lamar Woodley is going to get credit for the sack, even though Palmer did fall down. Ten, no 35. Roethlisberger going to go deep. Ah, right on the money to Mike Wallace. First down at the 30. Antoine Randall, L, Heinz Ward, and now Mike Wallace says, watch me get in on the act. A high level. Sean Sweezen, 41-yard field goal attempt. On its way, it looks really good. From 40 or more yards, Sweezen has made seven in a row. Well, yeah, well I mean, 30 to 50 miles an hour. That pass is complete to number 82, Reggie Kelly. Intercepted. Palomalu. Troy, you got a bad ankle. Go and down. He pitches it back to Brian McFadden. You know, yes. he does have the bad ankle. It's not a bad idea to give it no. away, but halfway no. across the field, you might question. No, I, I would have. Uh, he should have just sat out. Give yourself up and save yourself a little bit. Well, here's Troy Polamalu up here in the corner. Take a look. He takes the one false step, and then he's able to come back in. And Jordan Shipley breaks to the outside. You saw Terrell Owens breaking across the end zone. And uh, that was just not a smart decision by Troy Polamalu. And I think right here, his defensive coordinator, Dick LeBeau, is going to tell him about it. That was unnecessary. You exposed yourself. And Pittsburgh goes to 10 and 3 on the season. And we got a little scrum midfield. Oh, come on, guys. More than a little scrum.
tempers flare. The sides are separated. Come on, everybody, head to the locker room. Don't give the NFL a reason to lighten your wallets. This is uh, unacceptable.